Hey guys, welcome back. I don't know what's the situation there, but here in Milan there is a complete lockdown at the moment and we were quite limited even in the past few months as well. We all have our ups and downs emotionally, mentally and physically as well. For this reason I decided to create a video of the top things that make me feel better when I'm moody or just simply overwhelmed. I became a morning showering person and this is definitely the best thing to start a day with. It forces you to get out of your pajama and it refreshes your body and soul. The next thing I like doing is a face and beauty routine each morning. After cleaning my face, I put some hydrating cream on it. This one is from my mom. She's a beautician and she recommended me this one and I just like it so much. Today I felt like doing a complete makeup, but sometimes I only put some mascara and blush on. It really depends on my mood. helps me a lot to get out of the unmotivated cloud, let's call it like this, is wearing nice clothes. I don't necessarily mean you should wear shirts and button-up shirts and uncomfortable stuff at home. It can be even a nice robe like this on the lazy days and maybe on the more active days something more special. The most important thing is to get rid of that pajama and start wearing actual clothes even at home. It's going to bring up your mood so much, I cannot even explain. I love wearing accessories as well and these one actually are made by me. If there was a championship of not being active at all, I would be definitely the winner. I mean, at least when it comes to my previous years before Italy. Since I live in Italy, I became much more active and I'm doing sports. And yes, during quarantine, this was definitely something that kept me together. My mind, my body, my everything. And I just like working out at home. There are certainly days when I'm really distracted and I just don't feel like doing anything at all in those days. Sometimes I try doing at least yoga sessions or something really easy, but I think in my opinion the important thing is to find your voice and find your rhythm and know when you have to force yourself and when you have to let it go. One of the newest routines I have is my mood tracker in my bullet journal. This is a great thing to follow up your feelings and better understand yourself. Each 
color symbolizes a mood or a feeling and I also have a section where I just put down my feelings and thoughts of the day. This is a whole different topic so if you're interested just leave me a comment below so that I could create a video about that. To keep my mind together, I also like having some rules in my life, for instance, working out in the early morning at least three times a week or have a must go out or self care day once a week. Well, lately it's just self care because we are, as I said, in total lockdown and we are not even allowed to leave our homes right now. But I would just suggest you to find something that you barely do usually. For example, me, I like doing self-care routines, but at the same time, I don't treat it as primary, unfortunately. So this is the reason why I schedule it on every single Wednesday, so I'm sure that I do it. When it comes to productivity, it's important to concentrate on what you're doing and to keep a balance, otherwise you easily go stressed. I follow the Pomodoro method, which includes 25 minute sessions. It's really interesting, there are a lot of videos about that out on the internet. And a great app for that is Forest that is actually blocking your phone so that you can avoid being distracted. This really helped me to avoid exaggerating the work and also to be really focused on what I'm doing. Alright guys, I will leave you with these ideas and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, just please make sure to subscribe and yes, see you next Friday. Ciao!